The carnivore diet, a realm of meat, fat, and fruit? It's a question that sparks debate even amongst the most seasoned carnivores. Can something so seemingly benign, so widely touted as healthy, truly have a place in a diet centered around animal products? The answer, like most things in nutrition, is not so simple. This isn't about jumping on the fruit is evil bandwagon, it's about understanding the nuances of the carnivore diet and how fruit, with its unique composition, fits into the picture. We're diving deep into the science, the controversies, and the practicalities of incorporating or not incorporating fruit into a carnivore lifestyle. Get ready to challenge your assumptions and explore the fascinating interplay between fruit and the carnivore diet. Let's dig in. Before we dissect the great fruit debate, let's revisit the fundamentals of the carnivore diet. This way of eating strips away the noise of modern dietary dogma and embraces the simplicity of animal-based nutrition. Imagine a plate where meat reigns supreme. Beef, poultry, fish, and other animal products take center stage, providing a rich tapestry of nutrients. We're talking about high-quality protein, essential fats, and a plethora of vitamins and minerals, often lacking in plant-based foods. Gone are the grains, the legumes, and yes, even the fruits and vegetables that dominate conventional dietary recommendations. The carnivore diet is a return to our ancestral roots, a way of eating that fueled our evolution for millennia. It's a bold departure from the norm, but one that has garnered increasing interest for its potential health benefits. Now let's address the elephant in the room, or rather, the apple on the carnivore plate. The inclusion of fruit in a carnivore diet is a topic rife with controversy. Proponents argue that certain fruits consumed in moderation can provide additional nutrients and variety without derailing the benefits of a meat-centric approach. They point to the historical consumption of fruits by some indigenous cultures who thrived on predominantly animal-based diets. On the other hand, opponents maintain that fruit, with its sugar content and plant compounds, directly contradicts the principles of the carnivore diet. They argue that even small amounts can disrupt the metabolic state achieved through strict animal product consumption leading to cravings and potential health setbacks. The debate rages on, fueled by anecdotal experiences and a lack of definitive scientific consensus. The question of fruit on a carnivore diet isn't just a theoretical debate, it's a topic that has captured the attention of leading voices in the health and nutrition space. Dr. Sean Baker, a prominent advocate for the carnivore diet, maintains a strict zero-carb approach, advocating for the complete elimination of fruit. He argues that even small amounts of sugar can disrupt the metabolic benefits of ketosis, a state where the body burns fat for fuel. Baker's perspective is rooted in the belief that the introduction of any carbohydrates, even those from natural sources like fruit, can hinder the body's ability to stay in ketosis. This metabolic state is crucial for those following a carnivore diet, as it allows for efficient fat burning and energy production. Conversely, Dr. Paul Saladino, another respected figure in the carnivore community, takes a more nuanced stance. While acknowledging the potential downsides of fruit, he suggests that certain low-sugar fruits consumed strategically can provide unique benefits without significantly impacting ketosis. Saladino's approach is based on the idea that not all fruits are created equal. He believes that fruits like berries, which are lower in sugar, can be incorporated into the diet in moderation. These fruits can offer essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that might be missing from a strict carnivore diet. The differing opinions between Baker and Saladino highlight the complexity of this issue and the need for further research to provide clearer guidelines. As more studies are conducted, the hope is to find a balanced approach that maximizes the benefits of the carnivore diet while considering the potential advantages of including certain fruits. This ongoing debate underscores the importance of personalized nutrition and the understanding that what works for one person may not work for another. To fruit or not to fruit. Examining the benefits and drawbacks. Navigating the fruit conundrum requires a careful consideration of both potential benefits and drawbacks. It's not just about adding or avoiding fruit, it's about understanding how it fits into your overall dietary goals and health objectives. Let's break down the arguments, benefits, micronutrients. Fruits are undeniably rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, offering a broader spectrum of nutrients that can complement a meat-based diet. These micronutrients play crucial roles in bodily functions, from boosting the immune system to improving skin health. Fiber, while not a primary concern on a carnivore diet, some individuals may find that small amounts of fruit improve digestion and regularity. 
Fiber can aid in maintaining a healthy gut microbiome, which is essential for overall digestive health. Variety and enjoyment. Let's face it, strict dietary adherence can be challenging. Fruit can add flavor and variety, making the carnivore diet more sustainable long term. The enjoyment of different tastes and textures can also enhance meal satisfaction and reduce the likelihood of diet fatigue. Drawbacks, sugar content, even low sugar fruits contain fructose, which can spike blood sugar levels and potentially disrupt ketosis. This can be particularly concerning for those who are using the carnivore diet to manage conditions like diabetes or insulin resistance. Plant compounds. Fruits contain anti-nutrients and other plant compounds that can interfere with nutrient absorption and potentially cause digestive upset in some individuals. These compounds, such as lectins and oxalates, can be problematic for those with sensitive digestive systems or autoimmune conditions. Cravings and overconsumption. Introducing fruit can trigger cravings and lead to overconsumption, undermining the principles of a meat-centric approach. This can be particularly challenging for individuals who struggle with sugar addiction or have a history of disordered eating. Balancing the inclusion of fruit requires mindful eating and self-awareness to avoid these pitfalls. Navigating the carnivore path practical tips for fruit consumption. For those choosing to include fruit on their carnivore journey, a strategic approach is key. Here are some practical tips to consider. Prioritize low sugar fruits. Opt for berries like strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries, which are lower in sugar compared to tropical fruits like bananas and mangoes. Consume in moderation. Start with small amounts and observe how your body responds. A few berries a day is a good starting point. Timing is key. Incorporate fruit around workouts or periods of activity when your body is more efficient at utilizing carbohydrates. Listen to your body. Pay attention to how you feel after consuming fruit. If you experience digestive issues, cravings, or energy fluctuations, it might be best to limit or avoid them. Carnivore diet pitfalls. Common mistakes with fruit. Even with the best intentions, it's easy to stumble when incorporating fruit into a carnivore diet. Here are some common pitfalls to avoid. Overdoing it. Remember, moderation is key. Large amounts of fruit, even low sugar options, can disrupt the metabolic benefits of the carnivore diet. Choosing high sugar fruits. Tropical fruits, dried fruits, and fruit juices are sugar bombs. Stick to low sugar berries if you choose to include fruit. Ignoring your body's signals. Digestive issues, cravings, and energy crashes can be signs that your body isn't tolerating fruit well. Using fruit as a crutch. The carnivore diet is about embracing animal-based nutrition. Don't rely on fruit to compensate for a lack of variety in your meat choices. Electrolytes, the unsung heroes of the carnivore diet. The carnivore diet with its emphasis on animal products and restriction of carbohydrates can lead to shifts in electrolyte balance. Electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, and magnesium are essential minerals that play a vital role in maintaining fluid balance, nerve function, and muscle contractions. When you reduce carbohydrate intake, your body produces less insulin, a hormone that helps retain sodium. This can lead to increased sodium excretion in the urine, potentially resulting in electrolyte imbalances. Symptoms of electrolyte imbalance can include fatigue, muscle cramps, headaches, and dizziness. To prevent these issues, it's crucial to ensure adequate electrolyte intake on a carnivore diet. Finding your carnivore footing, a final word on fruit. The question of fruit on a carnivore diet is not a one-size-fits-all answer. It varies greatly from person to person depending on individual health goals, metabolic responses, and personal preferences. It's a journey of self-experimentation, listening to your body, and finding what works best for you. Some people may find that they can incorporate certain fruits without any issues, while others might need to avoid them entirely. If you choose to include fruit, Prioritize low-sugar options, consume them in moderation, and be mindful of your body's response. Pay attention to how your body reacts to different fruits and adjust accordingly. Remember, the foundation of the carnivore diet is animal-based nutrition. This means focusing on nutrient-dense foods like meat, seafood, and other animal products. Focus on high-quality meat, seafood, and other animal products to reap the full benefits of this way of eating. These foods provide essential nutrients that support overall health and well-being. Ultimately, the carnivore diet is about empowering you to take control of your health. By making informed choices and listening to your body, you can find a way of eating that supports your unique needs. So, explore, experiment, and find the approach that allows you to thrive. Don't be afraid to try different things and see what works best for you. What are your thoughts on fruit in the context of a carnivore diet? It's a topic that sparks a lot of debate and discussion. 
Share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Your journey and perspective can help others navigate their own path.